Money Monday, yay! Yeah! Since it's the 1st of April, income, expenses, March, and that goes one and two, the 31. So I'm filming this today on April 1st, and I'm gonna get it uploaded today, and it's very relevant because it just happened. First and foremost, I would like to thank you for watching this. If you're already here, thank you for your time. I do appreciate it. Hopefully it adds some sort of value to your life. But yeah, thank you. First, we're gonna start with income. I don't have my fun little Amazon and Etsy and eBay signs. They're in Texas. I'm currently in Florida. Amazon income. The way Amazon works is it gives you disbursements every two weeks. I got two disbursements this month or last month, $1,086. And I had another one for $361. So two disbursements, add those up, turns into 14, 47 and that's what came in on Amazon. So now let's go over some of the Amazon expenses. They already take out their fees. They already take out the shipping costs. They already take out pretty much a lot of things. So this is everything minus cost of goods. But before we go into cost of goods, we're gonna go over how many items I sold. I sold 19 items, 1447 divided by 19 items gives us an average 70 six dollars per item so that's uh, asp so average sale price which is pretty good 76 bucks per item the cost of goods what i have into these 19 items right that's not technically going to be profit that's kind of like investment so that was 349 dollars is what i had invested into these 19 items a little over 18 dollars so about $18 for average cost of goods sold. And then we're going to take the $14.47 and we're gonna subtract the $349. So we're left with approximately $1,098 of profit. So we basically turned $349 invested into $1,098 of I tripled my money and I kept my money, if that makes sense. And we're gonna add this number to the profit sheet right here, okay. I also have Amazon affiliates. That's easy to go over. Barely, I made like $32. Thanks anyone that purchased anything through any affiliate links that I have. So Amazon affiliates, $32. And we'll go on to the next source of income, eBay. Everyone likes eBay, right? Gross sales on eBay, 3808. There was some change, but I just rounded it to make all these numbers a lot easier for everybody. It goes a lot faster. We sold 58 items and that comes out to 3808 divided by 58. 65, 65, we'll round that up to $66 for an average sale price which is good. I think I had 40 or 50 something last month. So that's a definitely an upgrade. So this gross number, we're gonna take out our cost of goods. I could write cost of goods in red. I'm gonna start writing cost of goods in red. $560, oops, $560, which comes out to about $10 per item that we sold. So eBay, you have to pay fees at the end of the month. They have a nice way on the website to look at the fees and shipping that you paid. We're gonna call this fees plus shipping plus subscription, oops, subscriptions, because I do have an eBay subscription. Shipping is through eBay and pirate ship, because I do use some pirate ship for that, was about $990. Oh, that's supposed to be in red. All right, so we're gonna do our calculation. 3808 minus 560 minus 990. And that leaves us with $2,258. And that's profit. Essentially, we took $560 and we more than quadrupled it and we kept that initial investment. That's kind of what's going on there. So we're gonna add eBay, that was 2,258. Let's go next. We're gonna go into the world of Etsy. Etsy, we sold six items. Those six items they sold for $5,021.
They already took out their fees. They took out their shipping costs. Everything was taken out of that. This is kind of what I have hanging out in my Etsy balance right now. Cost of goods was $21. 21 divided by six, about $3.5 per item. And our average sale price, 21 divided by six, comes out to 836.83. So 837, oops, 837 per item, just about. Etsy already takes out fees and shipping before I get this number. Profit is about $5,000. So we took $21 and we turned it into $5,000. That's pretty crazy. And I haven't really released it to the public yet, but if you know, if you've been following me, you know what's sold on Etsy for that $5,000. We're gonna do some digital business income, right? So I have the green room and I got a cut of $1,388. And the green room is a Facebook group for resellers, for entrepreneurs, for people that are interested in eBay and Amazon and Etsy mostly. It's a Facebook community where you have to pay to get in. We try to make it no nonsense and moderated. Currently have 600 members. So thanks everybody that has joined the green room. Appreciate that. New members, old members, you guys are always awesome. Green room, 1388. Another source of income I have is YouTube. I actually didn't make anything this month. Uh, well, I made some, but it's in like a bank, so I haven't gotten paid out of it yet. I have it set to where it disperses in 500 or more. So I'm going to throw some advertisements on this video because hardly make anything off of YouTube. So yeah, that's YouTube, zero. I actually made maybe like $180. It doesn't pay out till 500, so we're not gonna count any of that. That will be a big fat zero. All right, so we're gonna add up. 1,098 plus 32 plus 2,258 plus 5,000 plus 1,388 plus zero. So this all goes into about $9,776 in profit, right? We're gonna take that number, multiply that by 0.25, about 2,000. $444 goes to estimated taxes. And that brings us, well, I could just multiply it by 0.75 and that would give me that. But yeah, so we're, that brings us down to 7,332. We're gonna give 10% of that away. So that's 733. That leaves us at 6,598. That leaves us at about 6599. Nine. And we should have no problem paying the bills with $6559, right? You saw our bills last month. Um, and this is 6559, what we have to play with. Beef. Uh, Rachel just sent me a spreadsheet. She does all the uh, billing. So I have all that in front of me. We're going to go over that. Rent right? You got to pay your rent. 1695 for our one bedroom, one bath in beautiful Midland, Texas. Water, trash, pest control. That was $62, just about rounded up. I'm supposed to be doing this in red. I'm sorry. Electric, that was $101. She sends me this beautiful spreadsheet that I'm going through right now. Our T-Mobile bunch of lines, how much do we pay for that? About $202 for, I don't know how many lines, four or five, six lines of T-Mobile. Cell phone. Groceries is some something that uh, everyone that's been watching has wanted to be added. That was $159. I haven't spent a lot on groceries because I've been gone from Texas. We haven't really gone grocery shopping that much, but I did buy a bunch of protein. I don't know if that goes under groceries, but GNC had a sale. Rachel and I both bought a bunch of protein. That was $186. We also have a car wash service. That's 30 bucks a month for the car wash service. Uh, Rachel can wash her car a couple times a week. Internet was 50 bucks this month, like 49 and some change, rounded up to 50 bucks. My gym membership is paid in full, so that's already been paid for, so we don't really calculate that as a monthly expense. One of my gym memberships is paid in full, and the other one is about $32 a month, so we can add that to this. What else? I think that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, we ate out. How much eating out we did? We ate out a lot. 
eating out. And she actually, she categorizes it like how much I ate out and how much she ate out. So I'll pay for my eating out, $209, according to her calculations. <laughs> that's, that's a lot more bills than I showed last month. So hopefully it's not too much. So now we're gonna add those all up. 1695 plus 62 plus 101 plus 202 plus 159 plus 186 plus 30 plus 50 plus 32 plus 209 2726. So I will send that to Rachel for all of those things. 6559 minus 2776. Now we have $3,700 to play with. I'm going to go buy some hookers and blow. No, I'm not. I'm not really going to go buy hookers and blow. What I'm going to do with this is probably going to make a contribution towards my IRA. Maybe just keep it in some savings. I haven't done my 2019 IRA contributions yet, so I will probably throw maybe two to three thousand dollars at uh, my IRA with this because you can, I think, contribute like six thousand dollars to an IRA now. That was the month of March. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have made it to this point, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any encouraging comments, topics you want me to go over for Money Monday, put them in the comments section. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.